Hello there. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Tommy. And I'm Chris. And today, we are going to check out LA's version of the Philly cheesesteak, the French dip sandwich. Here we have Philippe's in Coles. Uh, so first up, we're gonna head out to Philippe's. Interesting thing with the French dip sandwiches here in LA is that there are, um, there's like a kind of like a war competition between the two, just like Pat's and Nina's. But with Philippe's and Coles, it's like which one of them invented the original, right? So it's like Philippe's original French dip sandwich. And they both have like multiple stories saying, you know, who came up with the first one. Right, yeah. Right? So are you hungry? Uh, yeah, I haven't eaten all day. I just drove up from San Diego. Uh, so I'm getting a late lunch today, but I'm looking forward to stuffing my face with some soggy bread. So let's get to it. The leaps. Hi there. Uh, could I get a beef dip wet, please? Oh, beef, beef dip. Beef dip with cheddar double dip, please. Okay, right there. so to kick things off, I went with a beef double dip with cheddar cheese, and then I ordered a side of pickles. Kind of like how like the cheese egg has like their little lingo, whiz, wit, without, right? Right. You got your how like single dip, double dip, or wet. Mine single dip, wet. double dip, wet. So here they pre-dip it for you. So with my sandwich, you can see where they dipped it right there. So they dipped both pieces of bread, hence double dip. Single dip, they would just dip one of them, and then for wet, they soak it. Let's go ahead and try it out without mustard. Pretty good, right? That was, that was pretty good. Very satisfying. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That was really good. The story with bleeps, right? Mm -hmm. Is that there's several. It was in 1918, right? There was either a policeman or a firefighter. The chef accidentally, right, dropped the bread, and the firefighter was had to go. So he's like, right. exactly. whatever, I'll just take it. That's one story. Or the other story is that the guy said the bread was stale. And right? purposefully. And purposefully did it. Right. Like out of spite. I think the oldest story was that there was, they had French bread, and there was a patron that's like, why don't you put some of this pork on, on like the smaller bread, you know, for smaller portions. And right. then, like a year later or so, someone was like, hey, can you dip that in the juices for me? And then everybody started ordering the same thing. It was called a French dip sandwich because Philippe Matthew, I think that's how you pronounce his name, he was French. And that was notable at the time. That was like the thing that made him interesting, I guess. He was even known as Frenchy. Apparently. Or the cop might have been called Frenchy, I heard too. Yeah, he was his, off, his last name was French. So Yeah, so that was another hypothesis. The term French dip, that was like a fashion thing at the time, way back into the late 1800s. So it was like a play on words. The other thing that was interesting is that the first French dip sandwiches were pork. They weren't roast beef which is what we're currently eating. There's a lot of nostalgia here, you know? A lot of like antiques and stuff kind of on the wall. They've been in this location, I think, since 1951. Even though it's only been here since the 50s, it still harkens back to the golden age of Hollywood, oh. like the 30s, 20s. Uh, one cool thing that I liked is that they actually have wooden phone booths at the front of the restaurant. That yeah. definitely yeah. harkens back to um, a, a bygone era. I can't finish my pickles. Can I take them to go? Oh, wait. To-go bag. Perfect. Do you see this? This is genius. A to-go bag at your table. That was really yummy. Yeah. So, on to number two. It's time Coles. For, it's time for Coles to show us what they got. All right, Coles, you're up. Downtown Los Angeles, DTLA, 
represent. <laughs> and uh, we're about to hit up Coles. Yep. For the other French dip sandwich. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm ready for round two. I am not at all full. I am now, since it's been a little bit, just as hungry as I was when I stepped into Philippe's. There you go. Awesome. Here we go. Uh, we're just doing a. You just want to do the sandwich? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there anything else you want? Uh, I'll get a drink. Can we just do uh, the French dip? So we're gonna split a French dip. Okay. The roast beef. That doesn't make any sense at all right now. Uh, you're gonna be spending money for nothing. So basically, right now we have a half dip and fries special. Oh. If you do two of those, it's less expensive than a full size dip. Box. All right, so, then let's do that. So you just basically get fries for price. Awesome. Hey, man. thank you. That's me. Thanks, man. So I let you know that mustard and the pickle is nice. Great. Thanks, Perfect. Man. Thank you. Okay. So I'm gonna try it. It's a French dip. So first bite is gonna be dipped. Period. How are we feeling? Good. Roll it up. All right. So I'm gonna dip. I need a better dip than that. That was not a good dip. There we go. That's a better dip. Yeah. First impression, the roast beef is sliced a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. The bread is thicker, more toasted. Yeah. The sandwich strikes me as a lot heartier and more full yeah. right away. That's not necessarily better, mind you. Coles um, also has a few different stories. The story goes that in about 1908, 1909, they made their French dip. They accidentally made a French dip when they had a gentleman or a patron come in that had recently gotten dental surgery and wanted a roast beef sandwich, but he couldn't eat the bread or the sandwich itself because it was too tough. Yeah. So they dipped it in what's now known as au jus, but back then was just gravy. And thus was born the French dip, the modern French dip. Uh, there are a couple other stories that are similar to Philippe's. Yeah. They had a firefighter or a cop. I mean, yeah. It appears the oldest known person to like be like claiming it like on record is Philippe's. And their story seems a little bit more plausible. Um, right. So you take that for what it's worth. You can believe whatever you want to believe. For whatever it's worth, this is definitely like, like a historic landmark in the city and it's like one of the, the, the longest continually running pub in the city. Right. Okay, so it was originally called Cole's Pacific Electric. Buffet. Buffet. P-E Buffet for short. The other thing I love about this place is right in the back over here, uh, I think starting is like seven or eight, they have a speakeasy called The Varnish. And it's like one of the best speakeasies in downtown. So. But it's cool that you know the cocktails in the front are also really, really good. So, right. So we're gonna head home and we're gonna have uh, one little give you our, our final thoughts. All right, so we're back. And uh, what'd you think, Chris? Which was your favorite? I think Philippe's was my favorite because I preferred having the sandwich already dipped, and I liked that it was still a little bit softer, and I liked the thin, lean roast beef, personally. Um, Coles was still a great sandwich. It was just a little bit fatty for my taste, and the bread was a little bit thicker and chewier than I would normally want. But I know that's some people's thing for sure, so for me it was Philippe. Yeah, I think, I don't know if I can really pick a favorite, but I would say Philippe's is a place that I would go to for breakfast and lunch and Kohl's were, I want to go for dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Kohl's, like you said, I mean, it's not even open until four. Kohl's has like a bar, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I like that I can dip my bun as much as I want to. Yeah. In the um, But Philippe's is also delicious, and I was really impressed with how it stayed together, and I like their pickles a little bit better too, and their mustard, right? All right, guys, uh, that's it from us today. Um, let us know if there's any other places in LA that we should be checking out. Or uh, if you've been to...
Coles and Philippe's, which is your favorite? Let me know. And uh, comment, like, subscribe, all those good things. And I'll be seeing you next week. Catch you later. Goodbye. Adieu. 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 This is French. Bon voyage.